The new Maserati Grand Cabrio is finally here for the 2025 model year. What's good guys, welcome back to Ron's Rides, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another video where the new Grand Cabrio is what you love about the Gran Turismo, just missing a roof. Now, the 2025 Maserati Grand Cabrio marks a further chapter in the history of the Stellantis brand, continuing the legacy of prestige and innovation that distinguishes the Modena based car manufacturer. Now, the iconic convertible presents itself as a sublime fusion of elegance, performance, and cutting edge technology designed to meet the expectations of the most demanding enthusiasts. And by God, does it look beautiful in what I believe is a Theater Siri Night Interaction paint color with Rosso interior. Now, the heart of the Grand Cabrio is a 3 liter twin turbo Nintuno V6 engine, which delivers 550 horsepower or if you want to get super technical 542 horses but it drives all four wheels through an 8-speed transmission and the convertible is 220 pounds heavier than the Gran Turismo itself so the performance is a bit lower than its coupe cousin so we're still talking about a seriously quick machine as of course when you put the pedal to the metal you're going to reach 62 miles per hour or 100 kilometers in 3.6 seconds and you'll see a top speed of 196 miles per hour which is just three miles per hour short of the 199 that the gran turismo coupe does now the trofeo trim level is available at launch and it further underlines the sporting nature of the vehicle without neglecting the comfort and driving pleasure aspects which remain fundamental even in the spider version. Now we'll notice that there is some different bodywork. And when it comes to the exterior design, it looks quite identical to the Trofeo trim level of the Coupe or the Gran Turismo itself. But there are some small differences that once we get this thing in person, we'll be able to point out. Now with that said, the roof, we need to know about what it does. The fabric roof can automatically be stowed in the trunk in just 14 seconds at speeds of up to 50 kilometers or 31 miles per hour, the same as the MC20 Cello Spider. Now that emphasizes the elegance and the functionality of the design, which ensures enough space for all four passengers. Now you have the attention to detail that extends to the interior where the Modena based manufacturer's distinctive craftsmanship finds expression in bold but yet contemporary luxury. And with Maserati's new design language that you'll also find in the Gran Turismo Coupe, well, it enhances a high quality of materials and refined finishes like the chevron pattern sport seats done in rosso 33 inches of screen real estate when it comes to the maserati infotainment system and the digital speedometer with the comfort screen heated and ventilated seats sonos fiber sound system and let's not forget about the maserati mia system and the driver assistance systems which obviously guarantee a high level of safety and entertainment now elements such as the neck warmer dedicated to warming your neck and the optional wind stopper contribute to further improving driving comfort for the Grand Cabrio, making it perfect for everyday driving. Now, in short, the Trident Convertible is destined to become a favorite choice for the lovers of open top driving, continuing on the tradition of excellence characterized by Maserati sports cars for over 60 years. But again, at launch, the 2024 Grand Cabrio will only be available in Trofeo trim, which is why we only have about 12 pictures today. No specific video from Maserati. They will announce also pricing closer to its on sale date, which will be sometime this summer. So I'm sure we will get more media like B-roll and pictures of the new convertible by then. But keep in mind that it won't be inexpensive. The hardtop Gran Turismo now starts after the price cut from $205,000 to $190,000. So the base price for the Gran Cabrio will probably be at least $200,000 because of the open roof experience. So with that said, so far, our first look, which I feel like is a teaser for the most part. What do you guys feel about it? How does it look to you? I wish we had some pictures of the soft top to get a full feel, but I do love a topless Maserati. So with that said, drop those comments down below. How are you guys feeling about this reveal? And if you guys want to help further support your channel, check the links down in the description below. Also, check out the Ron's Rise merch if you want to get some of that. And subscribe to the channel, but click the notification bell so you don't miss one video. And with that said, we will talk to you guys in the next Ron's Rise video. Peace.